Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about three reasons that you might want to consider using the thyroid medication tyrosine instead of levothyroxine or synthroid. So levothyroxine and synthroid are of course the most commonly prescribed thyroid medications. Well, actually it's levothyroxine, but both of them are kind of the same. These are, this is the most commonly prescribed thyroid medication for low thyroid patients. And despite the fact that so many patients are given this medication, so a ton of patients simply don't feel better while using it. So one potential option for these, these people would be to consider another type of thyroid medication called tyrosine. And we're going to compare the difference between using levothyroxine, but synthroid, the information would also apply to synthroid. We're going to compare levothyroxine to tyrosine. And I'm going to describe why I think tyrosine just in general is a much better thyroid medication and something that you might want to consider switching to if, you have, if you're taking levothyroxine and not feeling better. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Childs, I'm an internist, and I specialize in helping people with thyroid problems, helping people with hormone imbalances, and of course, helping people lose weight. But today is really about the thyroid, and specifically, we're going to be talking about some thyroid medication. Now, the two that we're focusing on, as I mentioned, were are levothyroxine and tyrosine. Now, if you haven't heard of tyrosine, don't worry, you're probably not alone. Um, it's a relatively new thyroid medication. Uh, it came out a couple years ago, I believe maybe three at this point now, um, but it's been out for a while, um, well, a much shorter time compared to level thyroxine, and it has some distinct advantages. Now, it's kind of fills a niche space within the thyroid um, treatment paradigm in that it isn't prescribed very often, and if it is prescribed, it's usually by endocrinologists. Now, I sort of want to talk about that, why I think that's incorrect, and in fact, tyrosine is probably one of my more favorite T4-only thyroid medications, well, it certainly is of all those available, um, and it might be one of the better options for people just to start on instead of using level thyroxine. So we're going to talk about that. So the first reason is that it is a very clean thyroid medication. Now, what I mean by clean is that it has very few inactive ingredients. Both of the active ingredients, they're all pretty much going to be the same among thyroid medications. So level thyroxine, synthroid, there should be an O there, synthroid, and tyrosine, they all have the same active ingredient, and that is thyroxine. That is the actual thyroid hormone. In this case, it's T4. So thyroxine is the thing that's actually doing its job. And most people think, okay, well, if the medication has thyroxine, if two medications have thyroxine, then they're roughly the same, right? Well, yes and no. They're the same in that they both have the same active ingredient and they're kind of doing the same job, but one can work much better than the other due to the inactive ingredients. Now, when I say tyrosine is cleaner, I'm referring to the fact that it has fewer inactive ingredients, therefore making it more clean. Um, and the inactive ingredients are, are listed right here. It's got gelatin, glycerin, and water. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't pay attention to inactive ingredients in, in medications, but especially thyroid medications, then this might not mean a lot to you. But if you've ever seen the list of inactive ingredients in level thyroxine, it will mean a lot to you because there are a ton of different ingredients all located inside of level thyroxine in addition to this thyroxine component. And it is these inactive ingredients which can cause a lot of problems for thyroid patients. In fact, these inactive ingredients can decrease absorption they can also cause problems themselves. So they can cause you to have certain types of symptoms, um, including things like rashes, headaches, um, upset stomach, and so on. In fact, one of the inactive ingredients in um, level thyroxine is lactose monohydrate. I'll just abbreviate it here. And it contains lactose. So if you have lactose intolerance and you're taking level thyroxine, you might be reacting to the lactose inside of the, uh, inside of the medication. Now, in some cases, these inactive ingredients can completely negate the benefits of the active ingredients. So one of the solutions would be, well, let's just take them all out. Well, you can't take them all out, right? Because you need to stabilize the actual active ingredient. And sometimes these do actually help that active ingredient either become absorbed or delay the absorption until it gets into the right area of the intestinal tract. They do play some, sometimes they play an important role, but others, they, other times they just don't. In fact, some of the inactive ingredients include things like dyes and colorants. And all they're, all they're meant to do is just change the color of the level thyroxine tablet from pink to blue, right? And and that's fine, but the problem is a lot of people react to those, those dyes and then they cause problems like we're talking about here. So having a cleaner thyroid medication does a lot for you. I mean, in fact, that by itself is, is a, a significant reason or a serious uh, consideration or one of the reasons that you might want to consider using tyrosine by itself or in place of level thyroxine. So that's number one. Number two is the fact that it has a much better absorption profile compared to level thyroxine and synthroid. By virtue of the things that we talked about previously, it is absorbed much better, okay? And so if you don't have to worry about um, the inactive ingredients breaking down the product, getting inside of the capsule itself, or um, in this case, in the case of level thyroxine, it would be 
um, like a tablet. You have to, your body would have to break that down in order to get to the thyroxin that's inside of it and before it can actually make it into your bloodstream. So if you can bypass this, this sort of stuff um, and you, your body can break it down much easier, it will get absorbed into the intestinal tract much easier. And the faster it gets absorbed, the more likely it is to actually do the job that you want it to do. If you, a lot of people, you may not realize this if you're a thyroid patient taking level thyroxin, but one of the big problems with level thyroxin is that it isn't absorbed very well. So even though you're taking the right dose or you know the right dose for you, let's say you're taking something like 100 micrograms of level thyroxin. So even though you're taking that 100 micrograms of level thyroxin, you may only be absorbing 80% of it. So at the, but if you were to take the equivalent dose of tyrosine, so let's say you're taking the same amount of tyrosine, 100 micrograms, but the absorption was much higher, like 95%, even though the doses are the same, the amount that's getting into your body is much higher in the case of tyrosine. And therefore, that person who absorbs more will actually feel better. So absorption is another um, huge and important aspect that you might wanna consider. And then lastly, another important thing to think about is how you actually take it. So you know this, if you're taking level thyroxine, there's a ton of rules regarding how you should take it. You can't take it with food, you need to take it away from certain supplements, you need to take it first thing in the morning, these are the recommendations that you're often given. Now what's interesting though is tyrosine by itself, by virtue of the inactive ingredients that are found in it, the fact that it's cleaner, and the fact that it's more, it's much uh, easily absorbed by, or it's easier to absorb by the body, you can take it a couple different ways. So one of the ways that you can take advantage of this is by using the sublingual route. So you can actually take tyrosine, you can um, either get rid of the capsule or the gel cap and get the liquid underneath your tongue and it will be absorbed much faster into the body. And that's because your body doesn't have to deal with all the inactive ingredients that we mentioned previously. So if you can get that, you can take it sublingually or you can also just swallow the pill itself. So remember, sublingual means under the tongue and, and most thyroid medications are swallowed and absorbed in the GI tract. So you can actually take it sublingually if, if you desire to do that. Um, and you can do that with level thyroxin too, by the way, but it's much more difficult because you got to break through all those um, inactive ingredients and the barriers and break it down and so on. Another thing is that we have a couple of studies which show that tyrosine can be taken with food and that, that taking it with food does not impact its absorption, which is not true with level thyroxin. Remember, if you take level thyroxin with food, that is going to negatively impact the absorption and it's going to make it harder for that, that medication to get inside of your body. So the fact that you can take it with food or without uh, without food, if you so choose, gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of when you are taking your thyroid medication. And for some people, that can make a big deal, right? Because if you're somebody who, you know, has to take it in the morning, but it, you can't get out of the door unless you've had your breakfast or whatever it is, um, and you choose, and you're taking level thyroxine, and you're just like, well, it's either I take it with my food or I don't take it at all. Well, it's better to take it with your food, I guess, in that situation. But in the case of tyrosine, you could do both, and you wouldn't have to worry about the food impacting its absorption. So these reasons um, are probably one of the, this, this together is the reason that I recommend using tyrosine over level thyroxine in most cases. One of the downsides to using tyrosine is that it tends to be more expensive. Newer medications and newer, newer formulations like this from the pharmaceutical standpoint tend to be more expensive. And so that is unfortunate. Uh, but I think over time, as this becomes more commonplace, this knowledge gets out there, I think we'll have a push to be using more people on tyrosine and hopefully that will drive the price down over some time. There are also some coupon options that you can, that you can look into. So they have something I think like $25 um, a month if you use uh, their coupon from the manufacturer. So you can look into using coupons if you want to switch to it. And another huge benefit to using tyrosine is that it is a T4 only thyroid medication. Now, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that we're generally T4 medications are not the best option for thyroid patients, but they have one big advantage, and that is that endocrinologists and primary care physicians are more likely to prescribe it because it is a T4 only medication. So because it's comparable in a sense to level thyroxine, they're much more likely to prescribe tyrosine than they are say, uh, cytomel, liothyronine, or something like armor thyroid. So it may actually be easier to get because of this. So I would recommend looking into it, at least asking your doctor if this is something that could be used in your specific case. And actually just, I would just say you're interested in trying it. And then, and then you may have to work with them and getting the price down a little bit if, if you're uh, price sensitive or if, if it's not within your budget or something like that. But definitely look into it as an option. If you're using Tyrosin, leave your comments below. Tell me about your experience. I want to hear about it. My experience has always been that people who switch from level thyroxin to, to Tyrosin or from Synthroid to Tyrosin, they tend to do much better just with the switch alone. Even going from the same dose of level thyroxin to the, to the same dose of Tyrosin, that tends to be enough to make them feel a lot better. So if that's the same for you, leave your comment below. I'd like to hear about that. If this is your first time hearing about Tyrosin, leave a comment and let me know about that as well because I'd like to hear about your experience also. And if you haven't already, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information all about the thyroid, all designed to help you feel better. And you can access those PDFs at the link below. And that's all I have for you guys today. And otherwise I will see you in the next one.